Hi preschool friends, Miss Christine here with a fun activity for you to try at home. Now most of you will have the stuff that you need to complete this activity at home. If you don't have the bubbles at home, don't worry, I'm going to include some in this week's care package. So when your mom or dad picks it up, you'll have some bubbles and you'll be able to do this activity too. All you need is an old bottle. I used a bottle from a pop. Um, you can use a water bottle. I know we've been passing out water in the care packages, so you should have lots of water bottles. And I used a knife to cut off the bottom, so you'll have to have your mom or dad help you with that. We don't want to play with knives. They're very sharp. We need a mom or a dad or an older sister or brother to cut the bottom off for us with either a sharp knife or some scissors. So make sure you are not trying to do it yourself. Make sure you get your mom or dad to do that part. Now the next part <clears throat> is we need to find an old sock. Now, most of your moms will probably have a stash of socks because when you wash laundry, most of the time one of your socks disappears and you end up with a bunch of socks that don't have a match. So maybe it'll be okay for you to just use one of those old socks if it's okay with your mom to use one. You just grab a sock, and then once again, you have your mom or dad use some sharp scissors to cut the end of the sock off. So we're gonna snip it right off all the way across. So we're just gonna end up with the part that your toes go into. So we're gonna put this over the end of our bottle. So we cover it and we pull it tight. So it looks like that, nice and flat. And then I'm using a hair tie to make sure it stays in place, but I will include some rubber bands along with the bubbles in this week's care package. And I think I'll even go through my bag of mismatched socks and see if I can include a sock so you don't have to cut apart any of yours if your mom doesn't want you to. So we got our blower ready. And then I have a big jug of bubbles. I won't include such a big jug, but I'll make sure you have bubbles to do the fun activity. I have a bowl, and I'm going to pour some bubbles into the bowl. You don't need a lot. And I'm going to try something different that I saw on the computer, and I'm going to use what is called food coloring. I have some different colors, red, blue, green and yellow and it showed that I could put some drops on the end of my socks here let them soak in see there's red and we can do a, um, a blue one down at the bottom and then we can do some green. We just want it to soak into the socks. It's not soaking in very good for me, but I'm going to do some yellow. Now, if you don't have food coloring at home, that's okay because it's still fun even without the food coloring. So then you're going to take your bubble blower and you're going to dip it into the bubbles. And then pull it out, and then you're going to blow. How cool is that? It makes a bubble snake. I was so excited to see this online, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I'll include all the supplies, and please, please, please have your mom take a picture or a video of you making your own bubble snake at home. I hope you really enjoy the activity. Have fun. Bye preschoolers.